Hi, Good Shepherd. It is April 7th. Time for another tour of our wonderful facility. Uh, the hallmark of this tour is in the details. Uh, lots and lots of details are taking place, which means it takes time. So we're going to see what's going on with the details to see how much has been done, but to see how much is still left to be done. Let's start by taking a look at our front entry. We have uh, crews here today polishing up the windows so you can see the nice shiny windows. Here's our front with the uh, support pillars completed now. We're just waiting for the time when they can be painted. Uh, but we have this beautiful, shiny, fresh front entryway. And I'll repeat what I said last time. If you're out and about during the evening, come by and see this place lit up at night. It is stunning. That's what let's, I've heard. Let's take a look inside. By the way, this is me, Brian Goforth, and I'm with our my filming buddy, Brian Schweitzer, the Brian and Brian Show, once again. Good morning. Let's head this way. Take a peek at the restroom right here. Here we've got the lighting, we've got the paper towel and garbage dispenser in place, the sink, toilet, and even the changing table. Brand spanking new, yuck, yuck, yuck. Stepping next door, we've got the nursery. Nice and spacious. Flooring completed, children's toilet in place. Even comes with its own closet. One of the details that we're talking about is even as we speak right now, the, the door openers are being installed. The windows have been put in place. And we even have door handles. The parish hall has become a new kind of storeroom. You don't see the pews anymore. What you see are cabinetry. All kinds of cabinetry that's for the different parts of the church. Most of this will be for the kitchen. As we come across the parish hall, Right here, <clears throat> our chair room, the flooring has been polished and sealed here so that uh, it'll be a nice smooth finish when it's all dry. Very nice. Next door, we have the riser sexton's closet room. It too, the floor has been treated, so it will be all set to go when we're ready to open up. Next step, washer and dryer. The chapel too continues to be a little storeroom right now. What you see in here is a lot of the pieces that will go into the sanctuary for our new sound booth, which we'll see in just a minute. I enjoy the large windows and the view out to the west from this room. I enjoy not having any more dry rot on the outside. This is looking really sharp. Hospitality, this is going to excite you. Look at this. In the kitchen here, the cabinets are going in. As we look around the room, up to the right, you can see the cabinetry and then the opening barely there where the refrigerator and freezer will go. We see the window with the kitchen sinks will be underneath that. Over here to the left, we've got the cabinetry and the gap for the stove top and the ovens. And then uh, more cabinets will be going in right here in this close area. So things are happening. Slow and steady. Get it right the first time. Yesterday, 
we had the, the drapery guys here. They were installing the blinds for the windows here and in various rooms. We'll show you those a little bit up close in a little bit. But they're getting the blinds put in. And still, you can have that wonderful, gorgeous view of our patio. <laughs> okay, we're going to duck into the sanctuary right here. And look at those pews gleam. They did a tremendous job on these. They're very shiny. Thanks to the leadership of Don Weir, we had a team of folks come in to wash and uh, clean and oil the, the, the pews so they virtually sparkle. You're almost going to slide right off of them, Brian. As we come up to the front, you can see in the altar area here, we have the new underlayment. Now it's just waiting for the carpet to go in, and that will be coming soon. And Brian, let's just take a big panorama view of our sanctuary. Shiny clean lights, shiny clean pews, shiny clean windows. Boy, does it look spectacular. Now, as we come across here, okay. let's say hello to Gary Hatzenbeeler and Earl Ellis. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. <laughs> hi, guys. We've got the audio system almost up and running. You can see, take a good view of the wiring behind here. If you want to talk about a tedious task, these guys are putting together the sound system for us. This is their trial run. They've got everything laid out on the table here, connecting all the wires. They're making sure that everything works before we install the cabinet and put everything in place. And you can see by all the wires, there's a lot to take care of. And they're taking their time. They're going really slowly and making sure it all works so that when we open up, we're raring to go. Amen. This is Bims. On it. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Gary. Thanks, Earl. You're welcome. We're going to duck through this side door here and head down to the main office. Right this way. So spacious. Get a semi through here. So this is the entryway to our office. Windows have been installed, hand door handles are here. And let's take a walk down the hallway here. Again, they're here cleaning windows today. Vacuuming and sprucing things up. Here's our coffee room, work room. Well, any of it, I just wanted to make and sure. That... Coming on down the hallway here. Take a peek into our outreach office. And across here to our associate pastor office. There we go. Here's the blinds that were installed. Take a little edge off of that hot summer sun on those hottest days of the year. The rest of the time you see the wonderful view to the south. Coming back down the hallway here. Entering the rector's office, Father Tom's place. When we open up. And next door is our conference room.
again, with the uh, shades now installed, and lots of light. Beautiful south and western views. <clears throat> Stepping into the administrative assistance office, where Ann Brown and Jennifer Myers Power will be working. You can see they'll have a desk area here. They've installed a sliding door. A little privacy. A little privacy when needed but open most of the time for access to the main office here. And as you come in here, you can see our construction crew has tables set up here so you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's all done with the, with the countertops across the wall here and across the wall there. So it gives us a, a taste, a flavor of what it's gonna be like when it's all said and done. We've got a nice big closet here for office storage. and exit out to the hallway. We head down the hallway. This week in our restrooms, they're installing a lot of the accessories. Coming in the men's restroom, you can see the counter template. This isn't the real counter, but this is the template, so they'll know how to lay things out and lay the real counter in. <laughs> And then stepping into the lady's side, as the lights come on automatically as we walk in, you can see the layout for the four sinks. I'll just repeat what I said before. A lot is done. There's a lot left to do. But nice tile floors are in. Came out really nice. Counter, more sinks. And let's go around the corner to the music room. Doors have been installed with the windows. Nice big double door entry. music room now has carpeting, which makes it look even more spacious, especially since, if you remember, we had a lot of the doors for the buildings stored in here, and now they're all mounted and out and about. We have a closet over there to the left for the music folks. And a wonderful space, convenient access to the sanctuary, lots of windows. Lots of a view, lots of light. And now let's step across the hallway. Alter Guild, you're going to love this. Here we are entering the sanctuary. Surprise! The cabinets are going in. all along the east wall. The new cabinet smell. Yep. Our access to the altar area. Hey, Brian, come on up here and let's do one more panorama of all of that cabinetry. Lots of space. And check this out. <clears throat> Ooh. <laughs> ah. ah. No more sticking your heads halfway through the cover trying to find something in the back. Where did I put that? All right. 
And to close it up today, let's head back out onto the altar. So lots of things have changed. Lots more enough to change, but our cross remains the same, eagerly awaiting the time when we can all return. Thanks for watching our tour today. Hope you enjoyed it. Tune in again. Bye Th now. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.